Hello and welcome back to an episode of City Bus Manager with me, Tops. I have been busy since the last episode. Uh, we let the festival days go through. I'm going to pause the game uh, just because I've let uh, the festival days go through. You can see we've got a million pound in the bank. And a lot of stuff has changed. So I have adjusted the times to open an hour earlier and an hour later in here, which basically means we pay them a bit more. I have sold a lot of buses or moved them to the respectable other garage, which was Bolton. So if you head to Bolton, we have a full 180 bus 100 buses in there. Um, so obviously the buses that I relocated and changed, I basically relocated them here, changed the bus numbers and those kind of stuff. So obviously they're all sorted. Uh, going back to the main depot, we've got 180 buses now in total left. Um, which is still quite a few buses. But with that bus drop, I have gotten rid of a lot of bus driver staff. So we now only have 230 staff here. But we have 134 inspectors. Now, a lot of these are obviously in training because they need to get experts. There we go. So obviously we've got seven pages that we haven't got uh, that are already experts. So they're going to be out and about and running the buses. Um, yeah. So obviously big changes in this depot. We've had a reshuffle again. Uh, but yeah, so the reshuffle in this depot is obviously we moved a load of buses over to here that needed to, to fill this depot. And after that, there was like 36 unused buses. So I've just sold a load. We still have a, quite a few. Obviously, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Still got 16 buses that we don't have um, people, well, we don't have uses for, to be fair, in this Watchdale Depot. So that's, uh, we're probably going to end up moving those to another new depot we're going to set up. But obviously, I've also reshuffled buses around. So instead of the one being out of the these ones, the one, two, and three are now at the South Depot. And I just reshuffled and organized them, which means basically on all the depots... We will have at least one bus that has nothing on. So that's one bus there in that depot. There's two actually there. So it just optimizes the buses a bit more. So obviously if anything breaks down, we've got another bus spare to replace them. Uh, the south depot, we should have one bus spare. There it is. There's our spare bus. Uh, the Bolton depot. We, do we have any buses spare here? We should do. There we go, yeah. That was a bus spare there. We got any more? No, so we've got a bus spare anyway. Um, that is until tomorrow. I uh, sign all the buses. Tomorrow, do we still have a bus spare? The Bolton Depot. Because if we don't, then that's fine. But I would try to... Anyway, no. Right, Bolton Bus de Depot, we've added a new bus route. I kind of missed over it when I was making the other ones because I thought we didn't go up further enough, but we did. Uh, it's the going this way around, clockwise way around, is the 525, and then going the opposite way around, the 527, uh, is those two bus routes there. So they had a bit of this up here that we hadn't had and a bit over here that we didn't have coverage. They, that bus is start tomorrow. Um yeah so that's basically everything that i've talked over now um i did realize there is i want to say over here somewhere is it eccles or is it over here yeah so it's just past eccles yeah there's actually another bus depot here, which we could implement, but for the time being, we're good. Although, 
with this amount of money, we're about to go under a million for, for a second, but I'm going to do some research. If we have a look at our money, yesterday we only just made a profit, even though I sold a lot of buses. Like, we made so much money on bus sales. Um, I need to... What's it called? I want to expand, which means our subsidiaries, which has dropped dramatically anyway for having this amount of money in, um, will drop from 49,000 to a bit less than that because obviously we've got a million. So I need to do some research and we're going to go south. We're going to research and go south in hopes that we get Manchester Airport. Now I've done that, our subsidiary still says that amount, even though that's not going to be good at all. I probably shouldn't have sold all the buses, but we did. They are going to take a little bit to do that, but that's them working away. Uh, is anyone starting to come in? No, because it's not 7am yet. But yeah, this is just absolutely blitzing through. And obviously, every time we hit a very busy period, we drop a point of a star. <laughs> but we're going to get an environmental day on Tuesday. So that's going to be a good bonus for us. Uh, until then, obviously, we have this coming through. Subsidiaries so are still 12%. Uh, prices have changed as well. I forgot to mention ticket prices we've changed. So a short distance is two pound, a single ticket is three, a day ticket is now seven. So it's basically if you're doing more than two ticket, two trips, day ticket's worth it. And then obviously tw uh, 24 pound for a week again to try and get more sales. Obviously that was the last today being uh, a Sunday, but did we get the airport? We have not hit the airport just yet. However, we've hit the two areas where I wanted to hit to get the next bus depot down here. Uh, I believe this is Stockport. There we go. Took a second to get all them in. What about over here? No names over here. Okay. So let's have a look at Stockport buses. Okay. First things first. We're going to add the Stockport depot in, which I believe is literally here. So this is a stagecoach depot. Let's connect to a road. Literally a road here. There we go. We put it at the corner here, so it's actually there. Uh, we're going to start off there because it's just going to be cheaper to do so. We're then going to go upgrade, upgrade. Upgrade it straight to the max. Uh, have a look at what colour this is. Head over to there and get the colour changed. Rename it. Uh, and rename it as Stockport. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is just buy some brand new buses. Unless we've got any double deckers that oh well, these are pretty pretty cheap, so we'll get we'll just see what we can get for them. If they'll give them us for really cheap. They keep offering us buses, so we're gonna keep buying them. There we go. So now we have no more money to buy used buses. So let's get these started. So it'll be D6 for all the buses. And this will be OO. -O. And let me get all these numbered, painted, uh, well, fixed up, painted, and all that. I'll be right back. Okay, so all of these buses are scheduled. We can't buy any more. So we'll get some brand new, three brand new buses and get those in as well. That makes 10 buses total. 
that we have in this depot. 11, technically. And I'll get these numbered up and be back in a second. Okay. As these buses are getting repaired and upgraded, and then we we'll obviously need to paint them, we need to work on getting our new Stockport bus routes up and running. Um, obviously, one more upgrade south will get us... Uh, that should get us the airport, is what I'm hoping for. I think it's round here. But even so, we've got a lot of stuff that's coming up. Got a lot of stuff over this side. We just need to get more bus expanded to do it. So I think the first one we're going to do is link Manchester and Stockport with a 42. So if I figure out where that needs to start from and go to, I'll get that all set up. And we are back. So I've prepped some routes that we haven't started yet. But the 23, which is Stockport 2 up here, which is Trafford Centre. 25, which is the same, but it goes a little bit differently. So as you can see there, it goes two different routes. And then the 42, which adds Stockport to Manchester. Now, there is a few more Manchester Stockports. So I don't want to start off too much, especially when we actually need to... We've got 10 buses. And if we go to the depot, I've hired some bus drivers. But they all need training. Because they are not the best well they're not good drivers yet um, and that being said we don't even have enough bus drivers hired let me make sure I can hire more I have done then we can get them all scheduled on getting higher, getting trained up before we activate the bus routes. I may have accidentally acti uh, activated a bus route, even though I don't have the bus drivers ready for it. Um, but yeah, we should be fine. We're getting the buses in the background, getting all that sorted. And we should be good. Anyway, how are we doing on buses? Are any of these ready to you're ready to be painted? Anything else? No, it's just so we've got four buses ready in the bus depot so far. Uh we are gonna need a lot of staff. So I'm probably gonna end up having to hire a load of staff and getting all the um, I've forgotten how many I was getting in each depot. I think it was 230. So, yeah, I'm probably going to hire a load and then I'll be back in a second and we'll get them all trained as well. And we are back. So, our first Stockport bus is going out. Uh, I believe we've started on the 25 and the 42 are now active. We're waiting for the 23 because we need more buses for that. Uh, but obviously, buses are now going are leaving the depot to head towards the starting points for the journeys, uh, which is great because we've obviously worked hard on getting everything up. Um, we are nearly £300,000 in debt. We're making now 33% of our earnings. We're getting subsidiaries for. But there's a global pandemic on. Oh, there's a pandemic on at the moment. Uh, with Climate Action Day. So, hopefully, we can get some more money coming in. Now, comparing it to Friday, we are making a lot more money on passenger fines. So, obviously, the calling of bus drivers and adding of... Um, Ticket inspectors was a very good thing to do. But with the pandemic, that means only half of the buses, on the bus can only be half full. And obviously bus drivers and stuff are getting ill, uh, which is not good at all. And I'm hoping we get a lot of money 
we can we can still balance the box because we only made twelve thousand yesterday. Now that is we started off the day we only making twelve percent and it went up a little bit to thirty three with the expansion because obviously we started off the day with a million and we've funded all of that into as much as we can to be fair um but yeah we are literally all the buses are going to be heavily hit we can only hit half the amount of passengers um we did actually get a boost of ticket sales but if we look at the tickets today it'll probably have dropped no we got a boost of ticket sales still so we are hoping we can carry on the trend and get more sales uh and more in an increase of money coming in we are on day 100 as well which is quite a task let me just have a look so these buses are getting pretty busy, even though they're only able to be half filled, half full, filled, whatever you want to call it. Uh, and obviously they cross each other here, which is a good part. Uh, and obviously this route here is not active yet. So we've tried to maximize getting a bit more coverage of the area. Uh, we went from having a 60% utilization to drop into 35 to 40 seven so basically i optimized the routes so much that they went up to 66 or 60 percent utilization which was a very hectic utilization route that i did to get up to there but obviously now we're looking at a stockport route and we're having issues and we've got that many buses that we are not doing that well let's see how many buses we've got in total so we've got 161 plus 100 plus 100 plus 100 and then a plus 29. We are 10 buses away, having 500 buses in total. Which in itself is a crazy, a crazy amount that we're going to have. Obviously we need to get the tours completed and the weekly active ticket holders bumped up. As Obviously the more we get here, the better it is. And obviously, we're definitely very much in the red for the day, which is not good at all. Not good at all. Our environmental reward gets boosted today, but we've only be able to carry half the bus, bus uh, off of the passengers. Now, uh, I had a quick look over here because I've had to start our depot here, which it was a temporary bus station, as a new bus station has been built here. But obviously, it's not been added onto the... It's not added yet to get this new depot here. So we're using the temporary station. That's basically the only one I can use, but it works. Uh, buses are going out in and out of it, so that's the main thing. And obviously, these new journeys and routes that were added in uh, all add up in the end. And there is quite a lot more buses, bus routes that I want to add. Uh, you've got a phone call. Uh, let me answer it. You're ill. Okay. I uh, sign everything to for tomorrow as well. There we go. Do we have any buses spare here? We've got one. Two buses. I don't think we're going to be able to buy more buses though for tomorrow. Hopefully by Thursday we should be able to get the next bus route active. Uh, after that, I think we've got the 197, which is a Manchester Stockport, and then we've got a 203, which is a Manchester Stockport. Well, um, so we've got those that I've wanted to add in. Um, yeah, we're just adding in what we can, to be fair, at the moment. Obviously, the Stockport bus journeys are... The big ones, uh, well, they are big ones to start off with because they're literally into city. There's no Stockport, Stockport. But we have to get them added in. Because where else would we add them into? Uh, there is another depot I could implement uh, in the future, obviously, but we need to obviously fill the Stockport depot, get the buses scheduled, and obviously then figure out where we go from there. Um, everything seems to be going very slow today. 
So let's go to the main depot. Is this going to be slow if you watch these? It is. Okay. Let me do a save and I'll bring you back into the action and we'll see how we go from there. Okay, we're back. So everything is now up and running again. Uh, I just hope we start making a profit on the day because we want to start also making sure bus drivers are getting trained. Uh, the ticket inspectors are getting trained as well because if you have a look at the ticket, inspect ticket prices, uh, they're just going to go up the more we train them, which is the hope. Um, yeah. But we're like 200,000 in debt right now. And we need to get that cleared. Um, the 21 we seem to be losing money on. But that's probably just because the amount there is. We can't do the rail replacement. Um, yeah, we just seem to be losing money on some of these routes. Especially the 21. Which if... Hang on, let me... Uh, edit timetable. What are they? Every 30 minutes. And they're not getting that many passengers. I might just make them to every 60. Get them to every 60. Yeah. I'll just switch that out to every 60, so hopefully that all... Be a bit more beneficial for the buses. See how we are attaching them all tomorrow. Southport wise, we've got one bus free. Definitely can't upgrade that. Oh, something about the fuel. We don't care because we're not paying fuel prices. There's a lot here now. We're just hoping to get these two sorted. As soon as we get those two sorted, we've got plenty of money coming in. And we're going to be good to go. And obviously the pandemic needs to be over. That is definitely one of the things that's going to hit us the most. Otherwise, we're just going to constantly be in the red. Which is not good at all. But we'll see what happens. I'm going to let today run and bring you in at the end of the day and we'll just see how we are because obviously right now we're losing, heavily losing money. And that's just not good. Especially when it's a pandemic and there's nothing really we can do. And we are back. We're coming up to the end of the day here and for some reason they don't want to go home. I don't know why. They're only open till 7 yeah anyway i've closed the majority of these off and closed every other one because of the the pandemic that's happening in the game um i think the maximum wait time we had was five minutes so obviously that's got a reduced amount of hours completely for our well other people that are in uh staff wise work schedules uh i don't need any researchers in during the day i don't really need any researchers at, the, at all to be fair So if I do literally 12, 11 till 12, so that'll be literally it'll only be for one hour. That's going to do 11 to 11.15. There we go. So they will only be in for an hour, so that'll drop some wages for the next few days. Um... Inspector-wise, we definitely need to get some of these upgraded, but obviously we're in the minuses for the day. So we're not, we're, we've are not, we not made any profit whatsoever at all today. I also have to probably repair some buses, which, as usual, they're, they're broken, they're brake pads, they're lights. There's a lot of repairs that need to go through. So... It's very much a balance of seeing what we can do and what we can't do. Um, but yeah, I'm going to get all these repaired. Uh, and while I do that, this is going to be the end of this episode. So it's been a bit of a, an episode that we've been hearing there. It's done a lot of stuff. 
Uh, we've started, we finished our Bolton Depot, which I did off camera, uh, mainly because we had a reshuffle of all the, the buses in uh, the, uh, the main depot um, in Rochdale. Um, so that was that depot filled up. This depot, we've bought a few buses, we've bought the depot, we've then shuffled the buses over. Uh, if I have a look for the schedule for tomorrow, we have absolutely... How many buses do we have free here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we have eight buses free in Rochdale. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Buses free in city centre, which isn't right. Uh, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. I don't know why we're missing some buses there. Bolton. We're pretty much full. Okay, yeah, we don't have any buses free in Bolton. Let me see what it looks like on a Monday. If I look where we've got... So that... So Thursday we've got a lot more assignments, apparently. We assign them all. We're missing one in Bolton. So that will be able to sort that out. And then Monday probably be the same. Missing one, two, three, four, five in Bolton. Not in Rochdale. Yeah, so I don't know why some of these are done like that. Maybe it's I, I've messed up timings and stuff. But anyway, I'm going to sort it all out. I'm going to work on it off camera we're going to get through the pandemic off camera um hopefully hit the complete we'll hit definitely hit the completed chores the weekly activated tickets is going to be a hard one to get to obviously with the pandemic being on um but yeah that climate action day has actually saved us a lot of money well i say it saved us money we're still in the negatives which is not good at all uh i need to see what i can do and try and slim down everything uh, and get things sorted but with all that being said, thank you very much for watching. Hope you have uh, have enjoyed. If you are new here, hit the notification, hit the bell. If you are new here, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. Uh, if you're not new here, but you well, if you've enjoyed it nonetheless, hit the like button, comment down below, share with your friends. Um, with that all being said and done, I will see you next time for the next episode.